So now I am inviting our young chap, Gaurav Kumar, shift in charge uh, LPG. Good afternoon, everyone. So I am Gaurav Kumar. I will be giving my brief introduction. It's been just one and a half months joining Adani. And I have recently joined MLT field. So LPG unit. And my last organization was the Arte Industry in Jagadia. I passed out in year 2018. I have completed my bachelor's in fire and safety engineering from YPS Academy in God. And I am basically an exciting uh, and resident of Surat. I am staying there since 16 to 17 years. My hometown is New Delhi. So this was my brief introduction. And uh, I will be directly starting with uh, my presentation would be on OISD 156. Uh, which actually shows that fire protection facilities support handling hydrocarbons. So uh, today's uh, agenda would be that we will be doing the basic calculation on that. So theoretical part would be there, but we would be there to calculate the foam and water compounds needed in our uh, terminal premises and at the port premises. So these are the contents. We will be moving forward with that. Next slide, please. Yeah. So as I said, that we will be talking about the basic of OIC 156. Uh, learn about the jetty firefighting systems and what we are having at our jetty and what we require as per OISC 156. Okay, next slide. Yeah, so we all know that uh, these days, I mean since 90s we can say or 80s, 80s we can say that uh, hydrocarbons are the basic need uh, of our industries uh, for the world we can say. So we will know about the, how that its evolution occurred and also next slide please. Yeah, so actually uh, in India, uh, Koi, we know that uh, the history, we'll talk about the history. So Dekoi was in 1901, uh, the first refinery actually uh, was discovered, oil field was discovered in that. And uh, the first you can say, uh, Indian refinery you can say, was HPCL, uh, which was uh, discovered by SO. You can say the SO was the one, uh, uh, you can say Eastern State Standard Oil, that was the industry which uh, uh, normally started the industry refining of HPCL in 1954. And talking about the today's scenario, current scenario, the Reliance industry is the largest refinery in the world. So normally it uh, is the largest refinery since 2001 and till date, like 2022, with the largest refinery in India. Uh, next please. So these are the hydrocarbon refinery and, uh, and, 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 and uh, as we know that all the industries which has uh, the government pays joint venture and as well as the private industry. Which we can as I mentioned that Reliance 33 and the KTA. Okay. Million metric ton per And uh, this are the production and consumption rate of the industries using hydrocarbon. Year wise, you can say, uh, year wise, you can say that our requirement is day by day increasing of the hydrocarbons, and we are getting more dependent on that. Apart from all those uh, non-renewable and renewable sources. So, next, week. yeah. So these are the mandatory uh, standards. We can say that the, starting from the work permit system to the fire protection facilities for port handling activities, which we're going to be studying today. And as per the gas cylinder rules, it's OSD 144, 150, and 169. So I won't be describing that. Mine will be 156. Okay. So uh, what are the facilities? Speak louder, or you can take the mic. Okay, yeah, we'll be speaking louder. Okay. So uh, we'll be talking about the fire protection facilities needed at the port facilities as well as the terminals. Uh, depends on the risk, what type of installation we need. So we know that fire water system, foam system, okay, clean agent fire extinguishing system, which doesn't leave any kind of residues, like we can say in urgence. So and then DCP protection system, first aid fire portable firefighting equipments, then waterborne firefighting equipments, which normally we can say we use at the port premises. Uh, for the firefighting of uh, the ships and all the vessels and all. Then the uh, fire smoke ga gas detection and alarm system and fire alarm communication system which includes the fire system with public addressing and general announcement system. Next. Yeah. So, okay. So, the big slide. So, uh, normally uh, it is assumed that uh, in case of fire and ship tanker, 
so uh, well we know that vessels are normally carrying oils or gases at our port premises so uh, it is assumed that during fire fighting yes so it is assumed that uh, while the vessel is on fire so normally it would be towed as it's in the sea so it would be towed inside the sea it is a portion as far as possible and in that the water pump fire fighting is been done over there so normally the fire fighting system is designed apart from the sea uh, water available in the plenty uh, of quantities so uh, it's as uh, already mentioned that fire water system will be designed on the basis of city fire available suppose we have to imagine that we don't have city fire uh, water facilities so we have to store the water uh, as per our requirement then uh, uh, our uh, we have to take the risk as the single largest risk suppose we are storing uh, the lpg in the bulk quantity so we have to consider the fire fighting facilities and the water requirement as per the highest single largest risk okay and apart from that we all have the installation so we will be talking about that in the next slide okay uh, yeah so these are the basic requirement of the design flow rate we will be talking in the calculation about that so we have to know that uh, uh, the water flow rate uh, these two things are the fixed values we have to consider in the calculation of uh, water requirement and 144 meter cube uh, supplementary hose given that is we talk about supplementary hoses uh, the hydrant systems we normally talk about okay and uh, yeah okay next please. so uh, this is the basic requirement uh, we will be talking in the calculation itself barge uh, berth at wharf or jetty wharf is the uh, place where the cranes and all those are installed to unload the material from the uh tank up sorry from the vessel so it is clearly mentioned that uh, in you will say the serial number 1 in that case suppose uh, uh, the basic requirement will be uh, two nozzles of fire water of foam monitor capacity 500 gpm so two uh, uh, water foam monitor is required which is 500 gpm of water monitor is required along with the supplementary hose of 144 meter cube per this will be the same And the river is a constant value. You cannot change that. And the total water requirement will be 371.4 meter cube per hour. In the case of uh, the the smallest vessel, you can say. Now coming with the figures, 20,000 tons. Okay, capacity of the dead weight. 20,000 tons capacity of the dead weight. So in that we require water foam monitor of 750 gpm two nozzles and supplementary hose of 144. Again, uh, improvising with the quantity, twenty uh, thousand tons, and between twenty thousand tons and fifty thousand tons. So our requirement will be increasing uh, with two nozzles of uh, tower monitor of seventy seven fifty gpm, along with jumbo curtain, which is three thousand lpm, plus supplementary hose. So our water requirement is increasing as per the quantity of the uh, material involved. Uh, now talking about uh, 50,000 tons to 1 lakh tons of dead weight of the vessel. So again, uh, our requirement is increasing. Uh, with uh, apart from 750 gpm, it's now 1,000 uh, 1,500 gpm. And then uh, jumbo curtain is 5,000 lpm instead of uh, 3,000 lpm in the previous one. And now this one is we are actually talking about the handling of oil and petroleum products. Sorry, I missed that during the introduction session. then uh, talking about the ships with the largest capacity of the uh, 1 lakh tons plus 1 lakh tons or 1 lakh ton plus so we require 2000 uh, gpm of uh, monitor that so about talking about the four we have taken the four figures which is already mentioned in 156 or is 156 and which uh, tend uh, for the 10000 tons we require uh, 750 knows uh, monitor of 750 gpm Plus two nozzles of jumbo curtain, which is 3,000 lpm, which is 180 meter cube per hour, and supplementary hose requirement of 144 meter cube per hour, which is the fixed value. Then uh, talking about uh, 10,000 tons, uh, between 10,000 ton and 20,000 ton. So uh, the same thing, our monitor capacity has increased from 750 to it has been doubled from 750 to 1,500 gpm. Plus uh, the capacity of uh, the jumbo curtain has been also increased and doubled. 
when talking about uh, 20 to 40,000, this one. So in this also, we have increased the capacity, and it's almost the same. Uh, the uh, 10 to 20,000 and 20 to 40,000 capacity is almost the same. But the quantity has been from 2 to 3, it has been changed to 2 to 3. In fact, we have improvised. Then uh, we will be talking about this, the calculation will be done on this basis. Uh, 40,000 tons, that way, we will be doing the calculation later on. In this, uh, we require 4,000, 4 knots of, uh, jump, uh, of uh, we can say, um, four monitor. Water form monitor, that will be 2,000 GPM. And four jumbo curtain, which will be 6,000 LPM <coughs> each. And the supplementary hose will be 144 meter cube. So the total will be uh, 3,400 meter cube per hour. Next. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we know that uh, uh, the fire water pressure should be 7 kg uh, stable at the farthest point, as we all know that being at the fire safety professional. Uh, the water sources, the fire water sources. So, apart from sea water, okay, as we know that we are the port premises, so we are having plenty of sea water, so it's a plus point for us that we will be never having the scarcity of water. But apart from sea water, we must have uh, the water stored at our premises, which would be fresh water. Then uh, the pump should also be designed. We must use a centrifuge pump. At least one standby pump should be there. And uh, two knots of main pump, which is the minimum required requirement. Uh, for main pump, three knots and above. Okay. And the minimum two knots should be the standby. So that in case our main pump fails, so we must have the standby pump for that. Then, uh, okay, our fire pump house should be 100 meter away from the rest, I mean the away from the port area or from the largest rest area, it should be 100 meter. Then uh, the fire pump should exclusively use for the firefighting purpose only, not for other purpose like we know that normal industries are using as the process purpose also, for the tank cleaning purpose also, so it should be exclusively used only for the firefighting only. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, talking about the height is the basic thing, we know that it should be provided at every 30 meters okay, uh, from the jetty high hazard area. That is high hazard area would be the loading area, which we can see the loading arms are installed. And then uh, the provisions of hydrant from the building, it should be, okay, so many provisions. Then hydrant uh, monitor shall be located along the side of the bird, so that it's easily accessible from the person who is entering inside the port jetty area. And uh, okay, double headed hydrant with two separate landing marks of 4 inch should be provided. Then all hydrant uh, it shall be situated 1.2 meter above the ground level so that a person can easily operate and access the hydrant. Then uh, water foam. The time has been increased that we can have the foam component for 30 minutes also. So, okay, we are having the foam compound requirement. So, earlier that we talked about the uh, water compound requirement, now it's a foam compound requirement. So, okay, talking here, we need a 3000 LBM of two foam monitor, which is 5400 liters for the minimum or smallest vessel. Then, uh, for the 20,000 uh, uh, tons of dead weight of capacity, it's the same, first and second is the same. Uh, okay, now, now talking about the 20,000 to 50,000 of tons of uh, the material in the vessel, I mean the dead weight of the vessel, we require two uh, 3000 LPM and our foam monitor plus one base monitor. Base monitor is normally the smallest monitor. Okay. Then uh, for the 50,000 to 1 lakh tons, we require uh, around 13,320 liters. You can see you can see the calculation would be used over there. And uh, more than 1 lakh uh, uh, tons of dead weight, we require 15,120 liters. Now it is uh, mentioned, you can see the note over here. The above foam pump pump requires shall be stored in addition to that available in the mobile equipment like foam tender and fire flow, etc. Right. Yeah, so these are the basic uh, requirements like a fire detection system should com uh, comply with the Indian electricity rules and uh, it should uh, cover all the computer processing area, MCC main control room, and all that. Uh, then fire alarm system should cover. Uh, it should must have the hand operated fire siren, electrically operated siren, so that every person should be alarmed during this scenario, fire scenario. 
communication system. So at our premises, we are having uh, the well-maintained PAGA system, which is public addressing and general uh, awareness system. Then MCP system is the basic requirement of every industry. And then gas detection system, as we are at the LPG premises. And then, yeah. Uh, portable fire extinguisher, there should not be, the travel distance should not be more than 15 meters, means every 15 meter we should get a, a fire extinguisher, readily available. Then mobile fire equipment, uh, which is, we, are, uh, we talk about the fire tenders and all, in case our main accessories are completely uh, overlapped, so the fire fighting equipment, like tenders and DCP tenders should be used during that scenario. Uh, so, minimum requirement for portable and diesel fire, extin uh, fire extinguishers for terminal handling crude oil. So, these are the portable equipments that are required. So, 9 kg DCP extinguishers for the minimum size of the vessel. Then, uh, for the 20,000 uh, DCP tons capacity. Uh, so, we need 2 into 50 kg diesel DCP extinguisher and 2 into 9 kg DCP extinguishers for the 20,000 tons. And 20 to 50,000 the same. 4 into 9 kg DCP. Okay, so we are talking that earlier in 2005 it was mentioned uh, 10 kg, now it's 9 kg DCP. That has also been changed. Okay. Uh, next. Okay, requirement of first aid fire equipment. So, uh, as we talked earlier, also the 15 meter uh, travel distance, there should not be more than 15 meter travel distance for uh, any kind of fire, portable fire extinguishers. So, 9 kg DCP for the 9 kg DCP fire extinguisher and for the 75 kg capacity, the travel distance should not be more than 50 meter. Okay, and uh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, for the clear view, clear picture view, we will talking about our premises. This is our LPG terminal premises. These are the two propane and butane tanks. This is our fire pump house, fire water pump house. And this one is a jetty where our LPG vessel goes. So, it would be a clear picture about that. So, we will be doing the calculation on that. So, yeah, we will be talking about the calculation of the fire water flow rate. So, we have taken the scenario where our uh, LPG vessel has purchased, and before starting the calculation, we will be talking about the conversion index. So, we have uh, written the clear conversion 1 GPM is equal to 3.7854 LPM. Okay, and uh, when LPM is equal to 0 0.06 meter cube per hour, so that it would be eased for the calculation of it. Now we have taken the scenario of 55,000 at that rate. So according to the table 2 of OSB 156, uh, uh, there will be a uh, number of berths, there are 2 berths, so the length would be around 200 meters. And number of loading are there too, so we are talking about our current scenario at our LPG jetty. So, for that, as per table 2 of OSD 156, we require 4 NOS of 2000 GPM monitor plus uh, 4 NOS of uh, tower mounted water core monitor. So, uh, the total capacity required would be 3272 LPM as per the conversion index of 1 GPM is equal to 3.7854. The jumbo water curtain is required, which is 6000 LPM. So, in that case, uh, and we talked about the 10.2 LPM per square meter, which was the fixed value of the water spray system, and uh, plus 144 meter cube is the supplementary hose requirement, which is also the fixed value. So, after the uh, perfect calculation, uh, as per our current scenario, we have 55,000 plus. Uh, actually, we are having the calculation. So, the basic water capacity required is 346152 meter cube per hour. This would be the minimum requirement which we are providing, but as per the OIG standard and as per our installation, we are providing the maximum requirement. If we calculate according to the OSD, so it would be around 3000 something, but we are providing 461 more than the OSD requirement. Okay. Yeah, and this is the foam calculation, foam compound calculation, uh, fire water demand uh, for the liquefied hydrocarbon uh, So in this, the same, we have taken the vessel of 55,000. Uh, number of berth is 2 and the length is 200 meter, number of loading arms are 2. So in this also we require 2 tower mounted the water foam monitor which also we call it the R1 remote operated monitor. So in this also we have installed uh, 2000 GPM and uh, mount monitor and uh, 
the base monitor also. We have to consider the base monitor also in this. We won't be considering the jumbo water curtain because we don't have any, or we, we don't require any kind of home installation in, the, in that. We normally don't keep that because it, it doesn't come with the manufacturers also. Uh, the capacity of uh, each uh, base monitor, water foam monitor is 750 GPM. So we have taken it uh, to NOS of uh, base monitor. Now the total requirement is 35950. So we will be, take the, we will be taking 3% concentrate for that. So it will be 1078.5 LPM and for 30 minutes. So we have multiplied by 30. So this much is required. Okay, nice. So this oh, thank you very much. Before going to the